New in 15.1, the dashboard allows you to connect to various types of object data sources using the data source wizard. Let's see how to supply the dashboard displayed within the web viewer with data using the object data source. Let's drag and drop the ASPX dashboard viewer onto the web page and switch to design view to load the required DLLs. Next, open the web.config file, go to the DevExpress sections settings element, and set the embed required client libraries attribute to true to include the jQuery, globalize, and globalize.cultures libraries. Now we'll add a class that will be used to provide data for the dashboard. In this example, we'll use a data generator from the website statistics dashboard demo. Right click the project and select add existing item. In the invoke dialog, select the website statistics.cs file. The added file contains the Website Statistics Data Generator class used to generate data. This class exposes the Website Statistics property that returns a collection of objects providing the generated data. Now let's add a dashboard to our project. Right-click the project and select Add DevExpress Item, New Item. In the invoked DevExpress template gallery, select the dashboard and click Add Item. An empty dashboard will be displayed. Build the project. Then go to the dashboard menu and select the Edit Data Sources menu item. In the invoked Data Sources dialog, click the Add button, select Object Binding in the Data Source Wizard, and click Next twice. The current page displays class definitions that can be used to supply the dashboard with data. Expand the dashboard main demo item and select Website Statistics Item. Click Next. The last data source wizard page allows you to select whether to retrieve only the data source schema or obtain the actual data. In this example, select Retrieve the data source schema and click Finish. This adds the created object data source to a collection of dashboard data sources. Now we'll add the Pi dashboard item to our dashboard and drop the count field to values and browser to arguments. Then add the chart dashboard item and drop the count field to the value section. date to arguments, and traffic source to series. Save the dashboard and go to the web form containing the dashboard viewer. We'll click its smart tag and select dashboard one as a dashboard source. Enable the full screen mode and run the project. The web browser will display an empty dashboard because we retrieved only the data source schema. Now close the browser and go to the dashboard. To supply the dashboard with data at runtime, we need to handle the data loading event. Check the data source using the data source event parameter and assign the required data object to the data property. Run the project again and you'll see the dashboard supplied with actual data. And that's it. Thanks for watching and thank you for choosing DevExpress.